In this crochet video tutorial, you will learn how to make a such beautiful cord with seed beads. In my case, this cord consists of three segments. Two of them are big segment and a small one. This cord you can use to make such jewelry as a necklace, bracelet, belt or for decoration of crochet and knitting clothes. With this video tutorial you will see how to crochet a big one and a small segment. You can alternate these two segments by the wish. And for demonstration I have made the cord of small segment. In this video I will be using a ball of yarn, crochet hook, sewing needle, seed beads. Before the work with thread, the seed beads on the working yarn. The seed beads are large, transparent and not outright. Begin the work by making a chain. Then make a chain of 5 to bring up the yarn 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5 and make 3 treble crochet stitches into the first chain stitch yarn over 2 times to work with treble crochet insert the hook into the first chain stitch pull up a loop, pull through 2 loops twice then make the second treble crochet into the same chain stitch and make the last one yarn over two times to work with treble crochet continue make quadruple treble crochet stitch yarn over four times one two three and four i'm holding all loops on the hook insert the hook into the first chain stitch pull up a loop pull through two loops four times one two three and four yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook well done the base for the first segment is made now we will make the foundation for the trims of the segment and we continue the work for this chain five to bring up the yarn one two, three, four, five. Then chain three for the chain space. One, two and three. And I'm going to make double treble crochet with three chain space five times into quadruple treble. Yarn over three times to work with double treble and make double treble crochet. then chain 3 repeat again double treble into quadruple treble crochet stitch chain 3 it is the third one let's repeat again double treble chain 3 the fourth double treble chain 3 and make the last one double treble well done and we continue chain 3 make chain 3 make double treble crochet and chain 3 five times into the next stitch make chain 3 and double treble it is the first one chain 3 make the second double treble 
chain three the third one chain three the fourth double treble and chain three and make the last one We continue the work. I will be working by spiral direction. Continue into this stitch, then into this and finishing into the center. Chain 3, then yarn over 3 times to work with double treble. Insert the hook into this, this stitch. Pull up a loop, pull through 2 loops 4 times. By making double treble. Then treble crochet into the same stitch and five double crochet one, two, three, four. five then we will work into the opposite stitch we make five double crochet let's count one two three four five then half double crochet into the same stitch one and two and we need to do single crochet into the central stitch make five single crochet one Let's repeat again. One, two, three, four, and five. We stop and look at the work. The foundation for the trims is ready. We are working by the spiral, then backwards direction. Let's start to crochet trims. Make a chain and turn the work. Insert the hook into the first stitch of the previous row. Draw seed beads. Take only one. In this case, take the working yarn through the stitch behind the bead by making single crochet. I'm making single crochet with seed bead into each stitch of the previous row. like this in this case seed beads are at the front side of the work continue working in this way till the first chain space here it is the first chain space Once we have done single crochet stitches, this is the central part of the segment and we continue 
turn the work to the back side draw some beads I will make half double crochet yarn over the hook behind the bead insert the hook into chain space by making half double crochet like this the first half double crochet is ready then make the second one and make the third one insert the hook into double treble by making single crochet turn the work I will be making single crochet into this stitch let's start 5 single crochet 1 2 3 4 and 5 we range equally our single crochet in the main stitch insert the hook into chain space like this by making single crochet into next chain space turn the work chain 5 for the chain space 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 we skip 5 stitches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 insert the hook into the 6 by making a slip stitch turn the work and make 7 single crochet into the chain space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 I have just done 7 single crochet stitches into the 5 chain space then make a chain turn the work again I'm going to make beaded half double crochet into each stitch of the previous row draw seed beads in this case the beads will be at the front side of the work yarn over the hook like this insert the hook into the first stitch of the previous row by making half double crochet make the second the third the fourth the fifth one the sixth half double crochet And, and make the last one well done row seed bead yarn over the hook insert the hook into the single crochet that we made a slip stitch into here it is and make double crochet into this stitch 
well done. Turn the work. We are at the back side of the work. This is three chain space. And make two half double crochet into this three chain space. Yarn over the hook behind the bead. Insert the hook into the chain space and make first half double crochet. And make the second one into the same chain space. Before we continue, we stop and look what we have done. Here it is adorable 3D trim with seed beads. All trims will be the same. We make 3D trims into each double treble crochet stitch that are the base for the, this trim. And let's repeat how to crochet trim one more time. Turn the work. Insert the hook into double treble by making single crochet. Now we don't need seed beads. And make 5 single crochet stitches into this stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Insert the hook into the next chain space that we made double treble crochet stitches into and make single crochet into this chain space. Make chain 5 for the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We skip 5 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and insert the hook into the 6 and make slip stitch into the 6. Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and insert the hook into the 6 by making a slip stitch. We turn the work. Make 7 single crochet into the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well done. Turn the work. Make a chain. And now we are going to make beaded half double crochet into each stitch of the previous row. I remind you that the beads are at the front side in this case. Make the first one. First is done and you should make six more by yourself. Keep working till you will have seven beaded half double crochet. After we have made seven half double crochet, and we need to do make beaded double crochet. Yarn over the hook with bead to work with double crochet. Insert the hook into the single crochet that we made a slip stitch into. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops two times by making double crochet with bead. Turn the work. Make Two half double crochet with seed beads into three chain space. Yarn over the hook behind the bead. Insert the hook into three chain space by making half double crochet. First is done, make the second one. The second trim is made. Such trim we should make into each chain space made of double treble crochet stitch 
as we did in the previous time. We have just finished this round of the trims. This is front side of the segment and it is back. We continue the work. After we have done beaded double crochet, turn the work to the back side, yarn over the hook and make two half double crochet with seed beads into three chain space. I remind you that we make yarn over the hook behind the seed bead. Make the first half double crochet and make the second half double crochet. At the beginning we made five chains to bring up the yarn. We skip one, two, three, four, insert the hook into the fifths by making single crochet. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Everything correct. We turn the work. We make 7 single crochet into the chain. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, and the last one. You should wrench equally our single crochet into the main stitch. Make a chain, turn the work, and now, seven beaded half double crochet. Draw seed beads. And let's start. Insert the hook into the first stitch of the previous row. And make half double crochet. It was the first one. Seed beads are at the front side of the work. Two, three, four, five, six, and make the last one. We have just done. 7 beaded half double crochet, make double crochet with seed bead into the next stitch, yarn over the hook with seed bead, then make treble crochet with seed beads, yarn over the hook two times with seed beads to work with treble crochet, and make treble crochet into the same stitch of the previous row. Our 3D segment of the cord is ready. You can use crochet segment of the cord for brooches and for the handbands and barrettes as key charm or as a jewelry or as a home decor. The possibilities are endless. Let's look at the back side of this segment. And this is front. Continue the work. I will make the base for the next segment. And I will show you how to crochet transition.
for this chain 3 1 2 3 make treble crochet yarn over two times to work with treble insert the hook into two loops like this pull through two loops three times then make double treble into the same two loops yarn over three times to work with double treble insert the hook into two loops pull up a loop pull through two loops one two three four times the transition is made we will make this transition after each segment and we can start to crochet the next segment the base of the next segment is the same as we did in the first one let's repeat the base chain 5 to bring up the yarn 1 2 3 4 5 then we make 3 treble crochet yarn over 2 times to work with treble insert the hook into two loops of the stitch pull up a loop pull through two loops two times then make the second treble one two and make the third treble insert the hook into two loops pull up a loop pull through two loops two times then make quadruple treble yarn over four times to work with quadruple treble insert the hook into two loops pull up a loop pull through two loops one two three and four times then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook the base of the segment is made make chain five to bring up the yarn one two three four five then chain three for the chain space one two three and we make double treble with three chain spaces five times into this stitch make double treble into this stitch one chain three two chain three the third double treble three chains the fourth double treble three chains and make the last one then chain three and we continue then we make double treble into the opposite stitch yarn over two times to work with treble insert the hook into the stitch pull up a loop pull through two loops then i will be making seven double treble crochet into the same stitch then chain three one two three four five six and seven
well done and we need to do two treble crochet into the same stitch one and two I will be working by spiral direction continue into this stitch then into the this and finishing in the center turn the work yarn over two times to work with treble make two treble crochet into this stitch make the first one and make the second one and five double crochet one two three four five then into the opposite stitch we make five double crochet let's repeat again one two three four five then half double crochet two times one and the second one we have the last the central stitch and into the central stitch make five single crochet one two three four and five before we continue we stop and look at work by the end it will be a small 3d segment then i will be crocheting a row in backwards in this row i will join seed beads turn the work make a chain and insert the hook into the first stitch of the previous row by making single crochet with seed bead and we make beaded single crochet into each stitch of the previous row like this continue to do beaded single crochet till the first chain space Once we have done single crochet into each stitch of the previous row till this stitch and now we turn the work and I will crochet the same way as I did in the first segment. Let's I start this work and you should continue by yourself. Make three half double crochet into the first chain space seed beads are behind the work first one make the second and the third one insert the hook into the double treble and make single crochet into this double treble into this treble crochet I will crochet the trim as I did in the first segment and to complete the segment the same way I remind you that the transition 
is made from one element to other the same way. The length of the chord you determine by yourself. Such chord will look good absolutely in any color, and I want to draw your attention to the fact that you can alternate segments arbitrarily, that is to perform as I have to example large and smaller ones. Or just small segments. In this video tutorial you have learned how to crochet cord made of three segments. Two of them is bigger ones and a smaller one. Also you saw how to make a big segment and a smaller one. The base of this segment is the same. This cord you can use to make such jewelry, necklace, bracelets, belt or for decoration of the crochet knitting clothes. With this video tutorial you see how to crochet as big one small segment. You can alternate the segments by your wish. Here how look the cord made of only big segment. Thanks for watching.